Hi, my name is Stephanie Collins. I'm an animal nutritionist and I'm an assistant professor at Dalhousie University in the Faculty of Agriculture. I've always loved animals and I've always loved feeding animals. So when it was time to go to university, I went to the University of Saskatchewan where I got my undergraduate degree in animal science and I liked that so much that I stayed. And first I got my master's degree which was followed by my PhD. After that, I ended up taking a year, which I spent in Norway as a visiting researcher. After it was time for uh, that position to come to an end, I was very lucky to have an opportunity to come to Nova Scotia for a postdoctoral fellowship at Dalhousie University. I thought I'd be here only one year, but I've been here almost seven now with different positions. I chose to go into agriculture because I enjoy feeding animals. I chose to go into academia because I have questions that I would like to have answered. And a lot of my questions are related to how are we going to feed the world? And when you're able to ask that question, and find ways to answer it, for me, that is something that I find is important to do with my life. For my position, a PhD is required. That isn't necessary for every area of agriculture. It's helpful. Any sort of additional training that you can take to bring with you to your position, to your role that you play in the world is, is beneficial to you and to your position. But there are places in agriculture for all different levels of training. I think that it's important to be a lifelong learner. And in addition to my own university training, I have looked for different ways to find things that interest me and add to my knowledge base. So this has included training in animal husbandry, animal management, I've taken leadership training, I've taken writing seminars. There are a lot of different interesting things out in the world that we don't even know about unless we give them a chance. I'm supposed to tell you about what a typical day or a typical week is like for me, but I don't think there is such a thing as a typical day or a typical week. Sometimes I'm teaching, sometimes I'm involved with research. Sometimes I get to work one-on-one -on -one mentoring students. Sometimes I'm writing grant applications. Sometimes I'm spending my time in a meeting. It, it, it depends on what's necessary and what is high priority for that day. There are a lot of things about my job that I love. I love my students. I love the subject area that I work in. I love the fact that I'm in a position where I can have questions about how can we feed the world and have an opportunity to answer them and try to implement them. I love the fact that I get to take part in international development and I get to work with polar bears. Employment opportunities vary based on what you're interested in. If you would like to be an animal nutritionist, there are a lot of different areas that you can work in. You can work in academia, you can be involved with feed companies, you can have your own business, perhaps interested in farming, doing something entrepreneurial. In agriculture, there is a wide range of the pay scale. It, it depends on whether you're interested in working in industry, whether you're working in academia, whether you are uh, starting your own business. So I've had many opportunities to live in different places, work different places, and I've met a lot of amazing people. And the thing that I dislike the most about my job is there's never a time where I don't miss someone because you can't be everywhere at once. But at the same time, I'm still grateful to have known them. For anyone who is listening to this, I think that it's very important for you to realize 
that you have something special about you that the world needs. And you have a big long list of skills and qualities to offer the world. And you might know a list of those right now. You've probably been told this list uh, from a number of people. Perhaps you've been told this, but the opposite way. As an example, maybe you've been told you're too loud, but if you switch it, it actually is you're an excellent public speaker or you're too quiet. You're a great listener. So please remember that. Please remember that there are so many things about you that are going to make this world a better place.